Well, everyone, it's time for us to go and take a look at some of the iPhones that will basically end up ending in 2024. Now, what does this even mean? Well, basically, if we take a look at basically every single iPhone that's ever came out, you'll basically see that these particular iPhones end up having some sort of, you know, lasting of software, and they end up getting discontinued with software eventually. Now, with these particular iPhones, the first set of iPhones that are going to be actually be discontinued from Apple in terms of software are probably going to be the iPhone XR, XS, and XS Max. From my experience, these are probably the highest likelihood of iPhones that are probably going to be completely discontinued with software. And it's not, you know, an insanely bad thing either. These phones have been around for a long period of time, and they're probably still going to end up getting some sort of security updates in the future too. So it's not like we're going to be stuck in this like weird phase where this phone is like no longer completely supported with software. I think it's still going to be, you know, supported for the most part, like in terms of security updates. But in terms of full OS updates, you know, kind of keep it honest with you. Do I think it's going to get iOS 18? I'm not 100% too sure. I, have no, I don't have all the answers, but I would probably lean on the edge of maybe it not getting iOS 18. There's a chance it could, but maybe it won't. So there's a high chance this iPhone will probably end up ending in the year of 2024 in terms of full OS updates, but it might still get security updates maybe a little bit further from that. So just kind of keep that in mind. Just one of those things that, you know, just one of those group of iPhones that could end up ending. Now, all the iPhones before this are probably going to end off as well. So just kind of keep that in mind. But the other big thing is which iPhones are going to be dropped in terms of, you know, brand new sales. Now, I personally do think that the iPhone 13 is probably going to be one of those iPhones that's going to end up getting drop support this year in terms of no longer being sold in the brand new market. So it's just one of those things that happens again whenever a brand new device comes out. Apple ends up removing some of the older ones. And this particular one, I think, is next in line of getting basically drop support or dropped, you know, from their brand new sales. Now, I don't know exactly if they're going to do this, but there's a chance the iPhone 13 could end up sticking around mostly for, you know, if I'm being honest, if there's no longer an iPhone SE, if Apple switches plans or whatever, they could just drop this iPhone from $599 to $499 or $549 or something like that and kind of keep this iPhone around and make it stick around for a little bit longer. Again, I have no insider information. I have no idea what Apple plans on doing here, but that is just another idea of what could end up happening for this particular iPhone as well. So those are just a few different iPhones that might end up you know, ending off this year. Software-wise, there's not a whole lot, only three this year, hopefully. If Apple ends up dropping more, I'm going to be super sad, but it doesn't seem like that's going to be the case. But at least in terms of the brand new sales, there's probably only going to be one iPhone that's dropped, maybe two if we count the iPhone SE 2, but we're just going to have to wait and see what happens. So that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that'll be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so done.